Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. I'm doing this reading the day before the full moon in Virgo with the sun in Pisces. We are at the Virgo Pisces axis. But what's mostly important about this full moon in Virgo on the 7th of March is that Saturn moves out of the sign of Aquarius, leaving that cycle and into the sign of Pisces. With Neptune still in Pisces, Mercury in Pisces. There's a lot of Piscean energy. So we have to be mindful as to where our mind wanders to and discerning on what messages we are picking up and where they're from, where they're coming from. We're all getting to uh, understand and know ourself and our energy and how our energy meshes with the energy of the planet, other people, just about everything. So let's see what comes through for you. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Pisces. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you. Pisces, first card out, we have death. Hmm, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Some of you, this could be a literal death. Death of some loved one or someone that you've known. This also I'm reading as an ego death or a death of the old self. Um, death of the old life. <laughs> Putting an ending to something that's past its time. It's time to move on. As I was saying, Pisces, these are general messages, so take what resonates. Um, you can also check with your moon or rising sign if it's not resonating, but keep this message in your back pocket because I do read into our blind spots a lot of times, the subconscious areas that we're not always, if we're not in tune with our truth and we're not qu quite understanding or knowing ourselves as well as we should, it will come up, it will be re re revealed, and some of these messages may start to make sense for you. So, and if you'd like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, Pisces, you can book through my website, which is bethechange333.com. Information is in the description box below. Second card out, we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So it seems like you're getting past an old version of yourself that may have looked at challenges um, and other, like the state of the world, just things that don't feel or seem right. You're changing the way you view things. So you're no longer maybe complaining about everything or afraid of things afraid of life, afraid of the duality in life, being grateful for this life and all of the opportunities that it presents. Empathy. Bottom of the deck, we have regret. So overall, I know that I cannot change the past. And we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So through these transits, Pisces, what I'm getting is that you are, your, your awareness and your consciousness is expanding and expanding. You're, you, you're, you've tested and are comfortable with your ability to see from a higher perspective, to see both sides of a situation and to really truly be grateful for even things in the past that have, that have happened that maybe you were feeling 
resentful or regretful about now you're like that had to happen if that didn't happen I wouldn't have this understanding or I wouldn't be here but then also you know other people and their situations would be different as well so something is definitely ending and you're realizing this is a beginning Today may be the first day of the rest of your life kind of attitude. Love it. Okay. Let's keep going, Pisces. Maybe before you weren't really open to hearing somebody else's side of the story or even seeing things from any other perspective than what it was that you were experiencing and that you knew to be true but over time especially with the the venus and jupiter conjunction that may have helped expand your awareness to a much higher consciousness and plus the sun is still in your sign the sun has been very active as well expanding and awakening everyone's consciousness to one degree or another. Responsibility. Hmm. I feel like Pisces, you felt for a long time and this is your water, very sensitive, felt responsible for other people. That's what's ending, as well as holding on to some regret from the past. There's some tremendous responsibility that you carried around with you that is ending because it's not yours and you're realizing it. It's not our, it's not your responsibility to fix somebody or to carry somebody or to even show somebody what they're not seeing within themselves. We can't do, it doesn't work that way. If it did, you know, we as a human species would certainly have, um, well, you know, I can't even say. It's just, I just know that's not how life works from my own experience. And I only speak from experience. service with this gratitude opens you up to being a true influence to others to humanity putting an ending to these old patterns and this um carrying others the weight of others feeling responsible for others it took you off of your own path to a degree that's ending Being thankful for this life and all opportunities that life presents us is opening you up to actually um, radiating your true gift, which will be of great service to humanity. My heart, it feels really good, Pisces, this energy. Health. Opening up to seeing both sides of a situation, choosing empathy, choosing to rise above situations and not hold on to them, um, not dwell in them, is um, going to be, is. Uh, an improvement to your overall health, mind, body, spirit. So physical health, emotional, mental health, spiritual health, all getting a nice upliftment. The one thing that you have holding on to regrets, knowing that you cannot change the past, is connection 
possibly forming true connection to spirit prior to now true connection to yourself true connection to others then as well now you're having this wake-up call and it, it, it is part of the stages of awakening when we start to see we're like we start to regret how we operated in the past but that's ending that's ending you can't take back the past take your knowledge your newfound wisdom your new beginning of you and form those connections that you hadn't given yourself the opportunity to in the past. When you're connected to your higher self, when you're connected to the spiritual realm, when you're connected to life in general, and not in the spell of the third dimensional matrix ways that we've all been programmed and conditioned into, life changes before our very eyes. Things just start to almost magically morph into something I don't want to say better, but it actually feels more in alignment to you. Material and spiritual prosperity. I feel like can oh, cancer, <laughs> Pisces. There for quite a while, you felt the responsibility of um, providing. Um, not only material, maybe you are the provider of your family or provider, meaning providing, um, maybe you ha hold a lot of compassion and empathy. So when people aren't feeling good, they come to you uh, and spiritual prosperity, the connection to spirit, the, the ability to see beyond the veil, to see through people. Um, but you were also using that gift as a way of like a measure of codependency, meaning you were more or less carrying others along with you and they became very heavy and burdensome because it's not your job. That's their job. That's their life path. Also, when you release this responsibility, when you release the, the need to feel responsible for others and take responsibility for yourself solely, that's when you start to really reap what you've sown in a beneficial way for you. Okay. When you practice the attitude of gratitude, just um, when you're enlightened and you're like, oh my gosh, I am so just grateful for where I'm at right now that I'm still alive I'm still breathing I've made it through all of that past life stuff up to this point I made it and still standing triumphant success you change from just walking in this world same old same old mundane same old bullshit one day like day in day out just going through the motions and you find yourself really bored and discontented. This is before. This is the before the gratitude for everything. Before letting go of um, fear, codependency. And then after when you find gratitude for everything that you've experienced up to this point. You're getting a good before and after glimpse of the old you, old life versus your new life. And this is benefiting more than just yourself. Solar plexus. Okay. Um, and we have sacrifice at the bottom, which is exactly what you have been doing for a very long time, Pisces. Sacrificing your energy. Sacrificing your life path. Sacrificing 
your responsibility to yourself and your evolutionary growth for taking responsibility for other people. Now that that's, those doors are closing and you're having more gratitude and this is a service, um, elevating, expanding, seeing both sides of a situation, seeing life from a higher perspective, everything becomes more healthy, your relationships, your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health, and solar plexus comes online, which is an important energy center in the body. This is also a big part of our intuition, the gut, the gut instinct, the solar plexus is our self-esteem, our self-confidence, our will, our drive to actually take the steps towards what we are, what our soul, what, what we're guided towards, feeling. We do have to sacrifice being a part of the status quo. No longer sacrificing our energy and our life and our happiness and all of that to carry other people that we felt responsible for. Now it's a sacrifice of letting that old patterns, letting that all go. Still feels like a sacrifice, but you're connecting to your higher self, the higher realms, the spiritual realms, I mean. Release the regret. No regrets. Because you can't you can't change the past. The past happened. It happened. It's over. All you have is right now, right here, right now. And the future to look forward to. How are you going to create your future right here, right now? codependency, came upside down, letting go of the need to people please, take care of everybody else, give your gifts away to everyone else. This is not reciprocity either. You're not receiving anything. This is something that you were, you could have been maybe the oldest child of a family and had to take care. This is a pattern, a family pattern. This is a pattern from unmet needs of your own as a child. Let that go. You can keep it in reverse. Don't typically read reversals, but that plopped right out as you saw. No longer taking responsibility for others. And they're, you know, they're responsible for themselves, how they feel, how they view life. You can certainly be a guide by being an influence. Now, oh, this is interesting. Another one just came out in reverse, strength in reverse under gratitude. This may be something that you are going to have to muster up a little more courage and strength to do. More than you're aware of. This also may require you to really check in with your, your ego self. What is it within you that... Um, this may be like so unconscious that you're doing this, giving yourself away, giving your gifts away, feeling responsible for other people and how they feel and their happiness. It's time to tame that within yourself. It's a daily practice. Connecting to the higher self. Finding gratitude for life and everything that life has, is presenting to us. endings and new beginnings you're finding balance through it all harmony balance your health will be improving you are seeing things 
from a higher perspective and your self-confidence, your will, your drive, your self-esteem is definitely taking a turn for the better once you let go of the need to be responsible for other people. Again, I keep hearing it's unconscious. It's unconscious. You're in touch with what's important to you. You're in touch with um, all that you've created so far that is of use and that does nourish the soul. Let's get a, some advice for you, Pisces, to wrap this up. As an energetic exchange, if you are liking these messages, Pisces, please click that thumbs up like button for me. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate all of you who have taken the time to do so, as it does help with the channel's growth, as well as the algorithms within YouTube to get the messages out to more and more people, because we tend to get stuck in... Um, certain realms within <laughs> the YouTube land, I suppose you could say. Okay. <laughs> Advice for Pisces, please. Okay. It came out pretty fast. What do we have? The cosmic heart. Devotion. Potency. Make your life a moving prayer. When you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your attention deep within to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you've been a bit off kilter lately sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart, to get back to the essence of what you're about, to devote your life to what you care most about, to turn your gaze deep, deep, deep. There are seasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now you're being called to plant your soul's seeds and sing them or sing to them with deep devotion, to feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul, to lose yourself in the potency of what is what it is that most expands your heart, to live your life according to what makes you come alive rather than what everyone else thinks to make your life one big moving prayer. Oh, I got the chills on that one, Pisces. So another big realization that is coming to an end. You are not responsible for anybody else's feelings, anybody else's life path. You are responsible for you and you alone. Your energy, what you emit, what you take in, how you nourish the soul, your health, mind, body, spirit, and um, release the regret. You can't take the past back. Be great, grateful for everything that life has um, brought to you and what life is presenting to you at each and every moment while elevating yourself to be able to see it from a much bigger picture. So that's what I have for you this week, Pisces. So much love to you. Take care. Bye.